So this is Guangzhou where I live. It's beautiful, isn't it? I live on the 29th floor and I have this wonderful, amazing view that I'm so thankful for. And it's just overlooking the Guangzhou um, East Railway Station, which is over there. YouTubers, it's Urban Air Gypsy, and I'm here because I am going to take a trip to the grocery store here in China to find something that will be accommodating to my brassy orange hair. And as you can see, I am wearing a hat because um, I am a little bit embarrassed to go out in public like this. And actually, the um, the tutorial I did using all natural ingredients, I felt that like that was a big win. However, it didn't stick. And the reason why it didn't stick is because it's not strong enough to stick. And I understand that. So the coffee rinse that I did at the end that gave it the, the nice darker orange, even though it was a little orange, it was darker orange, which I could tolerate, um, didn't last after washing it. So because I don't really want to have to do that every time, I'm going to go to the grocery store and actually buy something that would be a little bit more permanent so that I can just kind of wash and go. So go with me to the grocery store and we are going to see what we can find at this Chinese I Aeon store. All right. So uh, yes, let's go. So this is my neighborhood. As you can see, there are some of the same eateries that you would find in the States with the Starbucks and the Pizza Hut. And then some things you might not find in the States like Fine Foods or Ricci's Creative Eats. And this is Poe Park um, Mall area. So here we are, and these are our options for today. 
So we have L'Oreal, which is, I guess, nationwide. And we have some Chinese products that I've never seen before. Mm. Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit difficult. I really want to get this one, but I feel like it may actually be um, cause my hair to be oranger than I really need it to be. So I don't know if that's a good idea. The next one up would probably be this one, but I don't want my hair to be too brown. And then we have this color casting or this casting cream gloss in Moon River. But that really looks brown, so I don't know if that would be a good choice. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I guess I'm going to go with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this will be the one that I choose. Now I need to buy some conditioner. Let's see, which one should I buy? Okay, so now I have some help. Oh, oh, no, no shampoo, conditioner. Okay. I'm videotaping. Okay. Now this is the one that I bought the last time and it worked really well for my hair. So I think I'm going to go with this one. It's a brand that I've never seen in the United States, but it's really thick like a moisturizing hair mask. So I think I will just go with this one since I've already tried it. Now here's something you probably don't see very often. Chicken feet with melon, mushrooms, and some other stuff I don't know about, but I'm assuming that people are using this for soup. Oh, and doesn't that look yummy? Interesting. I think somebody's really interested in buying this. So now that I have my hair color, I guess I can do my regular grocery shopping. So I'm going to buy this tofu vegetarian life meat substitute, which is really yummy. I have no idea what's in it outside of it being just all vegetarian, but it's a really good substitute for me. And it's not that expensive. It's like 10 RMB, which translates to a little, almost $2, like maybe, maybe a dollar and I don't know, 50 cents maybe. So maybe I can get two and cook them this week. So there's a million variation of not variations, but a million options in terms of eggs. Um, Chinese people are big egg eaters, uh, which makes sense because um, it's a good source of protein and it's very inexpensive. So, I'm just gonna grab some eggs and be on my way. Okay, so now I'm attempting to order a little bit of vegetables for lunch. They have a really great selection of different types of foods and I'm going to show you now. checking out. Mm. 
Nihau. Uh, yes, way. <laughs> Sorry. bright and it would be pretty if it were bright as in blonde bright but it's not it's red as in carrot top bright so I am going to use this L'Oreal 6.30 to tone it down and I just pray that I'm still able to maintain some of my reddish blonde but that it tones my roots as well as my my facial line here. Uh, beautiful, huh? Yes, so let's see. I'm going to just apply it as you would a regular um, dye only to a certain part of my hair. Um, and I'm going to do the, I think it's called balage. And that's where I'll demonstrate what that is. Okay. Hello, YouTubers. I'm Urban Air Gypsy, and I just wanted to show you the end result of the L'Oreal color that I put on my hair. And this is how it turned out. It's still a little bit orange, but at the same rate, it's also um, it's blonde as well. So I don't know. I think that the brown actually... I think that the brown blended everything together and even though it was a dark brown and I was expecting it to um, make my roots a little darker as well as um, I guess just overall the top part overall it didn't really make it darker to me it kind of made it more blonde but you know I am honestly um, pleasantly surprised at the results I I like it I really do. And so this is what the back looks like. I'm going to try one more time just in case it didn't come through uh, correctly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I really like the results. And I would definitely use it again to tone my hair. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, thank you for watching. And I will definitely hope to see you guys um, later as I um, intend to make more YouTube videos. And I hope it was a good video on what to do or what not to do um, to your hair. All right, thank you for watching. Peace out. Love you.